Hello, namaste friends. Let's begin by doing a prayer together. Divine Mother, Heavenly Father, Friend, Beloved God, Great Gurus, Jesus Christ, Babaji Krishna, Lahiri Mahashaya, Swami Sri Yukteswarji, Beloved Guru, Paramahansa Yogananda Ji, Saints and sages of all religions, friend and guide, Swami Kriyananda Ji, we bow before you all. Divine Mother, bless us with thy presence always in our hearts. In the smallest of the smallest things we do, the thoughts we have, the biggest jobs, work we do, Help us to feel, see, smell, hear, touch thy presence in everything. Give us thee that we may share thee with all. Om Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. Let's begin by doing a chant. Om Kali, Om Kali, Om.
may keep your eyes closed as you listen to this next story the story is of paramansa yogananda ji when he was a boy and at that time he was known by the name of mukunda his fervor for divine mother was there from the very beginning and he used to talk and tell stories of the beauty of divine mother his devotion and his love for her to his friends or whoever he met and talk about it even play with her in an invisible form when he used to go out with friends and his friends knew that about mukunda this story is from a chapter from the book stories of mukunda by swami kriyananda it describes an incident in the life of the young paramhansa yogananda then known by his childhood name of mukunda a young friend approached the group his eyes were shining he brought what he knew was good news mukunda he cried and all of you listen i have found a temple one we haven't seen before my brother took me to it today it's a temple of kali 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 cried mukunda's companions let's go tonight kali whether in an image or reality was the first love of their hearts they looked expectantly at mukunda he who had taught them the rapture of this love would surely agree to lead this expedition but mukunda's mood was withdrawn you go he said i shall stay home tonight stay home but why his friends were nonplussed hadn't he just sung to them of kali in the fields hadn't he just talked to them of kali in the town now would he neglect kali in the temple and go home to bed their continued pleas failed to move mukunda excusing himself with a quiet smile he left the little group his friends went on to the temple without him there they prostrated themselves in front of the image of kali they prayed and sang bhajans before her their hearts were lifted in the temporary inspiration that accompanies outward worship at home mukunda went to his room he sat to worship kali who resides in the temple of the soul of what used to him were stone images mother night in whose cradle of sleep are lulled the gains and disappointments of the day was singing softly to bengal her voice could be heard in the wandering breezes it whispered kind messages through the leaves of trees through the long day men had labored now the night called to them caressingly lay your burdens on my lap of peace but sleep was far from mukunda that night with ever increasing yearning he called to the divine mother to come to him mother with lotus feet he cried mother with hair spread like rays in blessing over creation sweeping to nothingness men's sorrows mother with light of laughter dancing in your eyes mother who smiles twinkle in a myriad stars your child is calling you your little child longs for your love o divine o divine mother come to me tear asunder this veil of darkness which hides you from me the room was tranquil with the stillness of his mind with the fixity of his devotion as cloud sometimes drifts in bright transparency around the moon enhancing her loveliness so a cloudless peace stole over mukunda's soul he knew his divine mother could not be far away suddenly as he chanted her name he beheld her form fairer it was than moonbeams on a lotus after midsummer dew in her eyes shone that love which creates the galaxies in her hair glistened countless stars like diamonds 
over pathways of infinity she came to him lightly gracefully dispelling from mukunda's enraptured gaze creation's mood of darkness his heart felt as though shattered into a million ecstatic fragments kali he whispered mother kali you have come destroy forever your child's delusions keep him ever near you oh how beautiful you are mother may my life be a constant song of love for you the divine mother smiled your prayer is granted my child though you shall have to travel far and bring many souls to my all sheltering arms in your heart of hearts you shall always remain in my formless presence and when you call to me as often as you desire it in this form i will come to you let's meditate for the next 5 minutes calling to kali or divine mother in any form gaze at the point between the eyebrows offering your heart's devotion and calling divine mother to reveal herself reveal thyself reveal thyself we meditate for the next 5 minutes
keeping our eyes closed let's share these blessings with others visualize people you know are in need at the point between the eyebrows family, loved ones, colleagues the world at large see them now embraced in Divine Mother's love and healing light Let's offer a prayer, Divine Mother, Thou art omnipresent, Thou art in all Thy children. Manifest Thy healing presence in all bodies, all minds and all souls. Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. May Divine Mother bless you. Happy Navratri, Jai Mata Di. We'll see you tomorrow.